Okay, we're gonna continue where I left off because some of my recording kind of effed up. Thank God I saved in the recording. But um, basically we have to do a cross examination. So basically nothing pretty much happened. So um, we're gonna continue on. Sorry about that, but uh, yeah. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. Okay. I thought he must have been in a hurry. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door ha half open behind him. Thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her there. A woman. Not I mean, I do know what this is. The phone in her apartment wasn't working. So this is basically the contradiction here because it says it's 1 p.m. But in reality, the time of death is 4 to 5 p.m. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to Objection here, yeah. Big objections. You found the body at 1 p.m. You sure? You found the body at 1 p.m. You sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Uh, nah, 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 nah. That's not what the autopsy report says. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Statement directly contradicts it. There was no body to, uh. No body to find at 1 p.m. This this is funny. How do you explain this three-hour gap? Objection! I love it. Objection! This is trivial. The witness nearly forgot the time. And now, basically, we put him into misery. He's gonna cry himself to sleep every night now. Wait, I remember now. It's gonna give his self into the testimony so everybody shush you see when i found the body i heard the time my my voice is kind of hurting now so i'm gonna go off on that i'm gonna cool off on it there was a voice saying the time it was probably coming from the television Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a tape program. If you saw the uh, testimony, you know, right there he just said a contradiction. Because the power is clearly out. We're gonna do our cross-examination? Gladly. We know what to do, Mio. I played this before. I'm gonna get ourselves caught up back to where we were uh, last recording, so... You see, when I found the body, I heard the time, okay? It's a voice, it was probably coming from the television. Problem with that. Objection. Objection to that, because, well, this is here. Hold it right there. Prosecution already proved it. I do know I was past this, so... Basically, he pretty much is screwing up. My apologies, Your Honor. Yada yada yada. We get that typical court stuff, typical Phoenix Wright stuff. Yada yada yada. Um, now we are on the hearing the time part of the testimony, the third section of the testimony. I think it's the last. Pretty sure. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't it? Yeah. And that's the contradiction right there. The murder weapon. Basically, in my video, I said, or before I corrupted, uh, yeah. I'm still angry about that. I'm very salty. Uh, yeah. I'm getting ready to hit the tab key anytime, anywhere. Actually, I didn't hear the time I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah. Murder weapon. And I'm going to present the statue. Why are we going to present the statue? Because this is the murder weapon. And of course, there's no music. If I were to get it wrong, there would be music. Also, probably one of my favorite games here. Objection. The neck is... So basically, the thinker is not a statue. But rather, it is a clock of a statue. We're going to hit yes. Of course, we're going to keep pressing the uh, testimony. Basically, there's a contradiction in here. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment, obviously. 
And also what they just said there. Because you're lying. I can prove the one that you killed. Wait, I can prove that you killed him. Basically, we accuse him, or Mr. Sawit, of uh, killing him. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Eyes. Yes, Your Honor. And this is pretty much where we left off, so I'm going to continue from here. Mr. So Mr. Sorry, Mr. Sawit. The, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon just spoke as soon as you hit the victim. That voice was burned in GMI. That's why you were so certain about the time. Objection! What's the meaning of this? This is... Faceless. Just look at the witness's face! Ugh. Ugh. Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I... I... That... That day... I never... Uh, look, I... The clock! I heard... No... I mean... I saw... So... <laughs> shut up, 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 I hate you. It was him, I tell you, I saw him. I'm gonna say the game. Please don't clear up this file. He, he killed her, and he should burn, burn, give him. Death. Order! Order in the court, I say! Order! Your Honor, a, a moment, please! There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims! Mr. Wright! Your Honor? You claim the sound of the witness heard, the witness heard came to the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is riding on this. I better think it through carefully. But, Your Honor, the sound Mr. Sawit heard was definitely a clock. A fact in which is clear if you simply. Hmm, this is actually difficult. Because I could lose two livestock here and then I would have to restart. So examine the clock's batteries. Ask the neighbors. Try sounding the clock. I think that would be the right option. Let's sound the clock now. Here is in the court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I asked the court, or I asked the court to listen very carefully. I think it's 8.25. Or I think it's 8.25. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker, after all. So, we've heard the clock. Now, what are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Pink, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. Uh. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Sawit heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sawit, try to talk your way out of this one. <laughs> you forgot one thing. Uh, uh, what is he talking about now? Well, it may seem like the clock is running three hours slow. It proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. He's right. How am I going to prove that? Damn it, I was so close. Mr. Right, it's easy to lack the evidence. Yes, sir. This means I can't let you. Unfortunately. Wait, no, no, the, uh, the, uh, the thing, the thing, the, uh, the, uh, the, um, the passport. Go all the way to test, all the way down here to testify, and look what happens. You treat me uh, like a criminal, a criminal, I say. You lawyer, the oh, whole slime. Oh, I almost had him. Sorry, Larry, I failed you. There's nothing that I can do about it now. Wait, did I get a game over? Not so fast, Mr. Solid. Mia, let's go! Mia! I mean, Chief! Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think! Like the thinker! 
But Chief, it's over! I can't prove the clock will slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking outside of the box. Don't waste the time. Yeah, I know this. Think through it. I already did. Why is the clock three hours slow? Right, right? Can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be s Yes, I can! I said this! Wait! Maybe I can't prove it. We must have the evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you see the clock was already three hours past the time. Have you found the evidence to support this claim? Of course, Your Honor. There's a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. <gasps> ah, tough words. Let's see you pull this one off. Let's see the evidence. Take that! Cowards! The victim has just returned home from a pod the day before the murder! As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is 9 hours. When it is 4 p.m. here, it's 1 p.m. or 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't 3 hours slow, it was 9 hours fast! The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why you heard the clock, or that's what, or that's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in the apartment was wrong. Proof enough from you, or proof enough for you, Mr. Solid? Or should I say, Mr. Did it? <laughs> What's, what are you doing with your mouth here? Um, are you, are you, is Mr. Salwit okay? Is he Mr. Salwit now? Oh, 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 no, oh, 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 I say? Oh, do I can say? Oh, do oh, 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 well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness? He, uh, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Hyde. Yes, Your Honor. I have to say I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly. Find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but this court finds the defendant Mr. Larry Butts. Not... Guilty! Let's go! And with that, this court is adjourned! Oh, I'm so happy we got the first chapter done. I can't wait to uh, finish the other one. That'll take a long time. It turns out that Frank Solit was a common burglar. He posted a newspaper sale on something to check and see what people were out of the when people were out of the house that day. When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sawit left himself in or let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sawit grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Rip, Miss Butts, or sorry, Miss Stone. Apologies. On my end, I I'm sorry. <laughs> August third, two thirty-two p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number Two. Whew! Wait, whew! I still can't believe we won. Woohoo! Let's go! Quite good job in there. Congratulations! Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all, not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the chief look this happy, looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. My life, my life is over. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone too. 